Hey guys, so today I'm out here and it's getting cold now as you can see from the lovely trees without leaves and overall detritus of the yard that <laughs> fall has set in. So we got the mountains over there that are actually a little bit snow capped. You can't really see it right now, but in the morning you can see how snow capped the mountains are. It's really pretty actually. But because it's getting so cold, um, we've got my little goats out here and I let them out so that um, they're just kind of kicking around the yard at whatever's left of my garden. I don't know what they're eating. They like to eat leaves and all sorts of stuff. So uh, that's Whiskey over there having some fun. And sorry, my nose is so stuffy. It's always stuffy. So you've probably heard it in a million videos before. Um, <laughs> anyway, so I'm out here and uh, I already cleaned their house like a couple weeks ago. I got their house all clean and ready for winter. But then we got a bunch of rainy days. So all the like stuff in their house here, I'll show you. Um, all of their stuff got really wet. So you can see I started kind of cleaning it a little bit. Let's turn the light on. Oh, there's my doggy. Hi, Aura. So I don't know if you can see everything just got kind of like wet and damp and crappy looking. Let me see better from this side. See how like just damp and shitty that hay is? So yeah, as you can see, this area in here was very, very dirty. So I went out the other day and I bought some hay and some shavings and we're gonna get them all cleaned up for the winter. So yeah, we're out here and we are cleaning their little house with this big bundle of uh, unfortunately, I wasn't able to find mulch hay, which is very unfortunate because this hay is a little more expensive. This is uh, first cut hay, which they can eat, but they don't really like it as much as the second cut hay. See, it's really like strawy and kind of dry and just bleh. They don't like it. They like the nice green fluffy hay that they have in their house. And then we have this big bundle and this is just, you can see inside, I don't want to open it and have it spill everywhere, but that is a uh, pine shavings in there. So we're gonna come over here and get them all done. Oh, and then I wanted to show you this little area that we have. This is where we used to keep our chickens. Um, this needs to be cleaned out as well, but what was that? That was the wind chimes. But anyway, this is where we used to keep our chickens, but our chickens have since gotten old and passed away. Most of them actually did die of old age. We had chickens that were 10 or 11 years old. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna clean out this area as well. And then <laughs> my dog out there. We're gonna clean out this area as well. And then if the goats have like a really cold night, we can stack hay like up along the walls and stuff and make it like really cozy, like a really, really cozy nest for them in there. Um, they do come in here already. When the chickens died, we cut a little hole in their fence over there somewhere. We cut a little hole over there and then um, they come through. Let me see if I can, yeah. They come through that little hole in the fence over there. And then they do come out and they like play around in here. I call this their little playhouse. So yeah, so we're gonna go and we're gonna get that cleaned. We're gonna get this clean. We're gonna get that clean. And like I said, it already is mostly clean. It just needs to be like bulked up for the winter. What do you have? What is that, Laura? Does she have a carrot? Is she eating a carrot? She never eats carrots when I give them to her, but now she wants to steal one. Oh my God, she is, she's eating a carrot. <laughs> she never eats carrots. Well, whatever, she's getting her vegetables. I don't even care, she stole that from my basket of carrots that I brought in the other day. From the farm. But it's a nice big one too. I wish she hadn't taken the nice big one. But whatever, I'm always fighting with her to eat her vegetables like a little kid. So I guess she's chomping on her carrot now. I think she likes it because it's frozen. <laughs> Okay, so let's get started. No more dots. All right, guys, so usually to do this, I use a pitchfork, but because I already kind of cleaned it, like literally last week, there's not that much on the floor. So all I really need to do this is this nice flat-ended shovel to scrape the floor and a broom to sweep up anything like extra that gets stuck in the corners. So let's get started. Let's get it started. And oh. Flipping in the 
Oops. Oh, definitely a little chilly. Not enjoying how chilly it is. I don't know where I put my gloves. I had gloves on my hands and where they went. I took them off to fuck around with my camera and now I don't know where my gloves went. Also doing this like makes your nose run more than normal because you're like it's cold and you're doing physical activity and I don't know why but that makes your nose run. I ain't a scientist. I don't know what the scientific mechanics of nose running is when you're working but I think it has something to do with adrenaline and uh, all that kind of stuff but <laughs> that's neither here nor there. Um, anyway, I'm sorry you guys have to listen to all my sniffling. down in my hay room knocking all my hay over she loves to jump on the up on the hay bales if she does it again I'll try to get a video because it's so cute <sighs> okay guys my dog Aura is out there and she's like digging she's like digging under the goat house I think she's trying to like catch a squirrel or a mouse or something it's so cute I know like trying to hunt cute little animals and a dog trying to kill cute little animals shouldn't be as cute as it is but it really is <laughs> See if she's still doing it. Hold on. There she is. Look at her digging. No, did you stop digging? Oh, she kind of stopped. She go back to her carrot. What you looking for? Oop. What are you doing there, Whiskey? Hi! Why is the dog in your yard? And you're outside the yard. There's a lily up on the deck. If she's like so scared of the dog, she like hides up there. She's like, save me! I'm gonna stay up here. Whiskey doesn't really care. He's like bigger than the dog. He doesn't even. He doesn't phase him. What are you eating? What are you eating out here? What are you eating? Chunks of ice? Eating little chunks of ice from <laughs> the snow the other day. It's the ice. It's an icicle. Maybe some bread. Just little pieces of bread. That's what that looks like. It's like frozen bread. <laughs> Who needs to hunt mice when you got little chunks of frozen bread? <laughs> Silly. And this is where we dump all of our hay compost, by the way. I don't know if I can... Eh. That's where we dump all of our... Hey, just come out here and dump it right over the fence. All right, let's get back into the dark zone. Sorry it's so dark in here. I'll try to lighten it up on my editor, but there's not really much I can do about it. There's like a single light bulb that hangs from the ceiling and that's it. Because it's stupid to waste a ton of energy out here. My glasses are like fogging up from the exertion in my own body. The heat that I'm giving off. <laughs> I got these really cute new boots that I'm wearing. You can't really see them in here, I'll show them afterwards, but um, I got these really cute new boots that I was like, I needed something warm, but they're so cute, I hate to ruin them in here. But when you have animals, how do I need to go out here? And I got these for like $10 at Goodwill, and they're like brand new. So I'm like trying my best not to step in too much poop and like avoid the wet area. <laughs> I don't want to ruin these. Um, kind of got them more for like maybe shoveling because like now they'll get wet shoveling but if it's water they're not going to get filthy. But I did have to do this. This is the only time these will be used in this fashion I promise. <laughs> it's just like me though like I bought a, a I bought a legit fur coat not for like fur style or anything but I bought it because I have these animals that live outside and I need to be able to come outside in like the dead of winter when it's literally gets to like negative 50 degrees out here so we had one winter here that was literally I think the coldest temperature we got and we're in like the mountains of New Hampshire yeah there was like there was like one year that literally killed me out here and it was literally I think it got down to negative 56 or negative 57 degrees and it was like oh my god that was the year that I decided to buy my fur coat and it was because I looked up literally looked up online like what do the Eskimos do to stay warm because like we're living we're literally living in subarctic temperature at that point it was ridiculous so I literally looked up 
what do Eskimos wear to stay warm? Like their whole attire. And I'm talking like back in the day when there was nothing synthetic or anything. Like the best, the best method that Eskimos had to stay warm. And like what they wore for pants, what they wore for outerwear, <laughs> underwear, like everything. So I was reading like the best fabrics to wear were like they would wear like seal skin pants. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm like scouring the internet to find seal skin pants. Like really where am I gonna find steel skin pants I think we would literally have to go to Alaska in order to find steel skin pants <laughs> so I didn't find my steel skin pants but I did find a coat on eBay and it's actually like a really really beautiful coat but um it's uh I think wolf fur and um uh, made of wolf fur and it literally matches my dog actually I didn't have my dog at the time that I bought it but <laughs> the it's just funny that the coat that I bought literally is the same color as my um like same color same marking same like fur type as my service dog that I have now so but yeah I bought this beautiful beautiful fur coat that like most people would wear as like a fashion statement or something like we're going out to the fancy ball and it's dawn off for coats <laughs> like something like that but uh no i bought it because i needed something super warm and it is it is like the warmest coat that i've ever experienced in my life it made my life so much better because i was really struggling with coming out to my animals um a disabled person and I have trouble doing most things anyway I just get overwhelmed and the cold and everything was really overwhelming oh my god she's doing it again hold on <laughs> is this not the cutest thing look at what she does she gets up in the hay hi what you doing <laughs> You make a nice bed? <laughs> you think you're a goat? Yeah, it's just so cute to watch her jump up here. I mean, she makes a mess of the hay, but whatever. It's all just gonna get eaten anyway. As long as it stays somewhat in bale formation. She does. Hi! What you doing, girl? She like crawls over the bales. This one's gonna topple on you. This one's gonna topple on you. It's gonna topple. Whoop. Dancing, dancing. What are you doing? Hey. Oh. Oh. oh my goodness, careful does that when she gets down she like oh, are you drinking the goat's water okay <laughs> guess she's done in there you going out? Oh, out. There you go. oh anyway what was i talking about my fur coat <laughs> yeah so i bought this fur coat it was like 150 bucks on ebay so the only thing i can say is that i feel a little bit better i guess that when it was like a used coat so i didn't have to like kill a new wolf to get it. I know it's horrible, but if you think back to like the old times before like synthetic fibers and everything, like this is what we used to have to do to survive. Literally there's no other, there was nothing else that I could wear without like, I don't know. I tried a lot of things and there was nothing warmer than this fur coat, I promise you. So I also think it's better for someone who appreciates the animal and every time I wear it, I do appreciate the life that was given for me to be warm. Um, I know that sounds really tacky, but I do. Wolves are actually one of my favorite animals. They are my favorite animal. Probably why I go for dogs that look like them. Like my last dog was a white German Shepherd. He looked like an Arctic wolf. But my current dog is a husky. She's an Agouti husky. So she literally has like the wolf type fur that's like double banded and stuff. So I really... I really do appreciate that a wolf had to give its life for me to be able to be warm and I do think it's better that uh, someone who is actually going to use its fur and its warmth to like come out and take care of other animals rather than just like putting on their fur coat and like going to the ball and showing off to their high society friends. Um, <laughs> anything like that. So yeah, I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> trying to like justify myself but I do use my fur coat literally for everything in the winter it is my go-to I don't care if I'm coming out and I'm cleaning this nasty ass goat house 
I'm doing my fur coat to do it. And it's actually really cool because because it's fur, nothing like sticks to it. Like, yeah, maybe it'll carry like some of the smell, but you can get rid of that. There's a special way of washing it. And it really doesn't carry the smell like that bad as long as you like let it air out. Um, but like when you're like, picking up hay, like when I go into the goat house to like grab a bundle of hay, all the hay will like usually stick to my clothes and stuff. But if you're wearing fur, it'll literally like just brush off because like you're literally like a dog. <laughs> like a dog won't have hay all stuck to their fur all the time. A dog rolls in the grass and they don't get grass and whatever grass is hay. So they don't get like all that stuff like stuck all over them. It like brushes right off. So literally I'll go grab a bundle of hay and then I'll just and it's just all gone. Whereas if I was wearing like this sweater that I'm wearing and I went to grab a bundle of hay, which you may see when I go to grab the hay that I'm gonna put in here, <laughs> um, it'll literally stick all in my sweater, it'll stick to my pants, it'll just stick to everything. So it's pretty cool. It's like the most useful purchase that I've ever bought. So <laughs> it's kind of expensive, but okay. We're getting to the end here. So we're getting to the end pick up all this stuff and then we'll sweep out all the crumbs of like little poopies and stuff that are stuck to the floor. Do this to scrape them up. Okay, let's show you what we got going now. So we also have, this is like their little trough, but we throw all their like scrap and they ate most of it, but it looks like they didn't want some of these carrot skins and stuff. So anything they didn't eat, we'll throw over the fence into the compost. And then this needs to get washed out. Dump that over the fence. Yeah. And then this bummer, I just washed this the other day. It's already filthy again because they keep knocking it over. Oh, it's not that bad. I'll just bang it on the fence. It just comes out. You know how many times I've screwed this to the wall and it keeps, they keep pulling it off. Like they broke the screws here. They broke the screw there. I put a new screw here and this one like doesn't hold it very well. I like have to, there's like this tiny screw in the wall. I can't even see because it's so shady. Tiny screw right there, that little dot. And then I have to get like, okay. I actually have to put this down because I can't do this one-handed holding the camera and you can't see anything anyway because it's so dark. All right, so I got this um, little dish, I guess we'll call it. It's their little bowl for like, we put minerals on this side and baking soda on that side because those are two things that goats need. I got it back onto the wall, but it's not very sturdy and it like tips. So I think what I'm gonna have to do is try to like maybe put two screws under it to like hold it somehow. I don't know, we're gonna have to figure that out. Maybe like put a ledge underneath, like nail a little piece of wood to the wall. I have no idea how we're gonna figure that out, but it keeps getting ripped off the wall and I'm sick of it. Sick of it, sick of it, sick of it. <laughs> okay, so we got some cleanup to do out here. Some junk I found around their yard. We're going to clean off the deck. But first I'm gonna sweep out, I guess we'll dump this water and give them fresh water because this has got poops in it now. And we'll sweep out the rest of the zone. Let's go. Damn it. All right, so much for that. I am a hot mess. Not even hot, I'm just a mess. <laughs> out the door. Okay guys, so I was getting a little hot cleaning. It's, it's kind of crazy, it's like freezing out, but you actually get hot when you're doing this kind of work. So um, I took off my coat and stuff and now I'm just in this nice, awesome sweater. This sweater's pretty cool, like so bulky. I hate turtlenecks though, so I like cut the neck here. But let's see. I went in to look for some um, baking soda and lime and the stuff that I usually use to clean their stalls, but <laughs> couldn't find any of that. Turns out I'm out of it, probably because I just cleaned their stalls like two weeks ago. So I probably used the rest of it up then. In fact, I know I used the rest of it up then and I should have bought some more, but I wasn't planning on doing this again for a while because usually winter comes and then it's just 
cold and everything's frozen but i had an opportunity to clean it and everything got so wet in there because it's just been raining not snowing thank god although it, it snowed a couple times but then it just like got a little warmer and it turned all to rain and it all mushed up and everything got all wet you can see how wet the floor is in there you can see a little better now there is the dry and then that's <laughs> everywhere where it's wet and then you can see it gets dry again in the other room so uh i wasn't able to find any of that but i did go and i am makeshifting it and this is what i'm using today is i found this cat litter box freshener which absorbs and neutralizes odors a long lasting freshness so and it has lilac scent so i figure p is p <laughs> i guess uh, goat pee is probably a little stronger than cat pee although cat piss is pretty strong if you've ever smelled cat pee but um and then i also have this stain and odor remover just for cats it removes cat urine vomit hairballs feces and more well we don't need vomit and hairballs but urine and feces sound good used on carpets floors furniture clothing and more well this is a floor i guess i mean it's not a nice floor but you can call it a floor right so I don't know. We're just gonna try it. We're gonna flat some down in here and scrub it into the floor to kind of... I'm probably gonna end up using this whole bottle, but it's better than giving them a dirty stall. I want it to be nice and clean for the winter. Let's just use the whole bottle here. Oh, there's a little bit left. There's enough in case we get a cat stain. <laughs> My cat doesn't really make that much of a mess anymore. This was good when he was a young... A young strapping male prone to spraying everywhere, but he's pretty good now as long as I keep his box clean. So, so we don't really need much of this anymore, but uh, I'm leaving just a little bit in the bottle in case I need it. Just in case. I mean, you can always buy more, but that bottle's lasted quite a while and I'd like to not have to buy more. <laughs> so this, this is the one I use to sweep up all the poop. So we're going to put that aside until I wash it. And then we're going to use this clean broom. Nice clean broom to kind of rub this stuff all in. Let's see. I've got some Modest Mouse and some 90s grunge music playing in the background. It's on really soft, so hopefully I don't get copyrighted on it. But I need music to be able to work. Oh, that already smells better already. Smells nice. Smells like lilacs. Is there a mouse under there? Oh, there you are! Hi! <laughs> What's wrong? Oh! I don't know where she's going. She's got an electric fence, so um, it goes into the woods a little bit, but she can't really go much further than that. So maybe she sees like a little mouse in the woods and she wants to catch it, but she can't because you can't catch it because you got a fence. So, hi, Whiskey! Oh, <laughs> nothing in there. I'd like you to stay outside though, bud, because I'm trying to clean in here. Come on back out. Come on back out. Oh, is he hungry? I'm going to leave some hay in the other room. <laughs> okay, so, we're taking a video of all the goats in your way. Come on, bud. Anyway, 
So, I have to get like way down here to be able to see in the camera. It's kind of funny. Just go like, rib it, rib it, rib it, rib it, rib it. <laughs> Ew, my hand touched it. <sighs> anyway, <laughs> yeah, so we just put down the odor eliminator liquid stuff. That, um, and it's actually smelling a lot nicer in here already. It smells like kind of lilac-y. Doesn't smell like pee anymore. That's good. Having it smelling like pee in here is actually really dangerous for them. They can get respiratory infections, they can get parasites. Um, just the smell of like the ammonia and stuff can like really bother their nose and lungs. I know even just when I'm in here cleaning and like I'm stirring up the ammonia, it gets like really bad. It wasn't too bad today because like I said, I did deep, deep cleaning. Um, a couple weeks ago. So we put down that and now we're gonna put down this odor guard litter deodorizer. We'll just kind of sprinkle on the floor. Well, this has like kind of the same consistency as the baking soda that I usually use. Hopefully this will help. I want to try to soak up this liquid before they come in. But it's getting dark. Because it gets dark at like four o'clock now so i don't think i'm gonna really be able to get it dry but this stuff stuff does thing it absorbs uh some of the liquid so hopefully it'll try to dry it out a little bit and like i said i'm gonna put fine shavings and stuff all on top so it's not gonna be wet where they're standing but i just want it to be like more dry underneath so that it doesn't like promote bacteria growth underneath just from having it wet so this is what it looks like now. Oop. I probably should have put more here, but this is where they sleep. But all the hay kind of falls there anyway, so I don't know. That's all I had. Smells nice in here now. So let's get the... Oh, you know what I have to do is I just want to shovel off this deck. Because this gets a lot of build up in the winter time. This all gets all built up in the winter. It like fills up with snow. And then the door doesn't shut. Pain <laughs> in the ass. It's already cold enough that there's some stuck to the deck here because it's cold and everything freezes to the ground here. Oh my god, this stuff is not coming up easy. Alright, the rest I'm just going to sweep off onto the ground <laughs> and I'll worry about it in the spring, please. that little house today just because I'm beat <sighs> hopefully we have a couple more relatively decent days that I can get in there and pull that out all right so this has got to come out get refilled can plug their heated water dish as a plug there we go they always pull out the cord here we will move their food in shut this door <sighs> get rid of this trash <sighs> this trash let's go in the dump Okay, now... And uh, spread it around. And there, look! <laughs> it gets all stuck to my sweater. That's why I like my fur coat. <laughs> As it gets colder and their bedding gets like kind of soiled with the wetness, we'll leave some so that we can add more. And I also need to leave some for that other house over there, their little playhouse. This is plenty because I got some straw coming in too. Now we got some hay and this hay goes in here, which I got like my phone and everything up here. Hi. Got 
shavings on his head. Hi, bud. He's such a sweetheart. Is he giving me kisses? Goat kisses. So cute. What are you doing in here, Aura? Another speaker out. Ah, don't eat the... <laughs> don't eat that cleaning supplies. You're like a little child. You're gonna put safety locks on the cleaning supplies. He's so cute. He's a good boy. He's my favorite. He's got this cute little markings up in here on his little zebra face. Give me kisses. He's like black and white, but then he's got like these little spots of brown. Oh, hi, bud. And like, unlike most goats, like a lot of goats have like really creepy eyes. I'll say it myself. Like that's one thing people don't like about goats is like how creepy their eyes are. But um, his, his eyes are so, like he still has the sideways pupils, but his eyes are so like dark and big that like you don't really notice it. And they just look like these big, <laughs> show me your eyes. Yeah, see, you don't really notice it. And they just look like these big, dark, deep eyes, huh? Look at those deep eyes. So cute. <laughs> hi, bud. Hi. Saying hi to Aura. Oh. Hi. Nice. Gentle, gentle. Oh, don't, don't, ew, ew, don't, don't look at that. That's disgusting. Okay. It'd be nice. So that's trash. Oh. Chase him. Be nice. Aura! Oh my goodness. Be nice! Don't jump on him. Oh my goodness. Okay. The dog was like running through here being a crazy girl. She's usually okay with them, but like sometimes she just decides to like chase them like crazy. It's pretty annoying. So anyway, I shut this. I still need Lily to come in, but I'm getting frustrated. I'm getting frustrated. So, see how much different this hay is from the hay that they like? See how this hay is like nice and green and fluffy? And then this one is like straw, pretty much. This is the difference between first cut and second cut. From like Agway hay to nice farm fresh local hay. <laughs> but anyway, this is what we're gonna use just for their bedding so they stay warm. These are their hoof trimmers. I actually need to trim their hooves soon. But, um, these are in the cabinet. We're gonna take a big chunk and we're gonna make them a low bed. Okay. All right, so we filled their manger with hay and now we're gonna make them a little bed. Cause this is where they sleep is kind of right under their manger. All right, so what I'm gonna do, what I'm trying to do is get it like up the wall there so it kind of insulates. Oh, okay, Lily's back. Yay! Now we can lock the door and put the dog out. There we go. Now they have a nice little nest. <laughs> Why they're eating their nest food though. You guys are supposed to eat the good food, not the nest. They're eating their nest. <laughs> Whatever, they'll sleep in it too. Here, yeah, get this food. There you go. See, they realize that food sucked and they're gonna go for that stuff. So here they are. Their nice clean house. Yeah, good food, Lil. It's Lily and Whiskey, my two prize goats. Oh, let's get this little burr. When they go wandering, they get burrs all over them. And we're gonna shut this door because night has befallen us. It's really like a pain in the ass to get it to shut. This door sucks and I need someone to install a lock. The lock, there was like a thing that slides over this, this little bar. There was like a thing attached to this and you would slide it so that it hooks onto this. But it literally got so like cold last winter that the wood swelled and it just like broke off. <laughs> Hi, see his pretty eyes? Hi, so sweet. Okay guys, they're so happy now. Hey guys. All right, so this is the hay room. We have a ton of hay for the winter. We are all set. I bought probably about 50 bales. They got more up there in the hayloft. <laughs> Hi guys. 
here. They love this stuff here. We'll give them, oh no wait, I don't need to give them that. I have some, ah, they don't wanna open that one. They go crazy when I open that. Here, we'll get them some out of here because they don't let me close it again. Hi. Oh my God, look at them. Go crazy for this. Boobs. Lily's the only one who's supposed to eat this, but Whiskey goes at it too. Here, hold him back with my leg. Hi. There you go. Okay, good girl. Okay. Sorry if everything's blurry. I'm like doing all this with one hand and then feeding them with the other. Lily, you gotta go. Come on, we gotta close up. Closing up for the night. We're closing up shop. So we close that and then they are smart little animals. So they have a habit of, they like know how to open this door. So what we do is that's what this string is here for. I know everyone says don't leave string in the hay cause they'll eat it. But I've had this here for a very long time and they've never touched it. They know what they want. They don't want to eat string. They want to eat the hay. So we take this and then we wrap it around the handle and then I'm going to tie it, but that's just what I do. And then I tie it around in there. So, all right. So we got the door tied shut. They are happily eating their hay munch munch. They got a little nest set up. And like I said, I left the layer pretty thin right now so that I can kind of bot clean it. I don't, it's kind of hard to clean when there's like a huge mound, but um, I'll be able to add shavings and hay and stuff as it gets colder. What are you doing, Whiskey? He's such a grump. He like... <laughs> He's a big hog. If he sees her like eating something that he wants, he'll like butt her out of the way and grump at her. What a grump. <laughs> I don't know why he's my favorite. He's kind of a jerk, but I saw him be born and... <laughs> I saw you be born and I held you in my arms when you were first born. <laughs> my baby jerk, see how much bigger he is? I don't know like it's like because he's a male or because he's a jerk and he just eats all the food. Maybe a little bit of both. They love each other though. Like for as much as... <laughs> There you go. Now they both go back to eating. See, I don't know if they're like, they're probably kind of playing. I think he'd be more of a jerk. I've seen him when he's mad. He'll like pull on her ears and stuff. He'll grab her ears with his teeth and like pull her out of the way. Oh, you dirtying it already? <laughs> Peeing already in it. Thank you for this nice clean house that you're just gonna pee in. <laughs> Ugh. Okay, yeah. So, yeah, he's kind of a jerk, but I saw him be born and I held him in my arms. I think if he really wanted to be mean, I've seen him be mean. He's just kind of playing with her now, but <laughs> that was a grumpy noise he made. He was like, Woof. sounded like a dog. I think they're just like, he's kind of like, hi. They're grumping over who's gonna get to like the new fresh hay and the new bed and the new stuff. They're like so excited about all this stuff. And see how much bigger he is now that they're standing next to each other. Hi. Love when they do that. Yeah, they're playing. <laughs> Look at them nuzzling heads. This is how they play. Oh, they actually do this like almost every time I clean their house, they'll like start playing. They're like so happy. Hi. Yes. Hi, boy. Hi, girl. And they nuzzle heads. They butt and then they nuzzle. They're best friends. And he protects her. Like, if the dog is chasing them sometimes, he'll, like, stand in front of her. And if I come to check on them at night, like, she'll be sleeping back against the wall and he'll be sleeping in front of her, like, protecting her from the cold so that she stays warm, like, against the wall when he's the one, like, breaking the wind. It's really sweet. They're very, very sweet animals. Oh, here, we should get them some minerals. While we're at it, let's just get them everything. Oh, look how happy and excited. Mm -hmm. Stuff in this dish. I don't want to put too many in the dish at a time because like I said they just knock it over. Oh oh my god now I knocked it over. Okay let's just set it down here. How about that? 
We'll just set it on the floor for now because I don't know what to do with that. Hold on, you guys stay. Let me get you your water. The hoses are off, so we fill up water and bring it out. Okay, they should be fine. All right, good night guys.